the Remember the Removal Riders returned to the Cherokee Nation's capital to the sound of sirens and cheers on Thursday, June the 19th. After bicycling more than 950 miles, 19 Cherokees rolled into Tahlequah despite dark skies and rainfall to complete the 2014 Remember the Removal bike ride. 13 Cherokee Nation riders and six Eastern Band citizens traveled across seven states, retracing the northern route of the Trail of Tears, remembering their Cherokee ancestors who were forced to make the trek on foot 175 years ago. Oh, stop. That means good. Folks, they did good. Let's give them a break. These are role models for our children. And we, as a Cherokee Nation, Thank each and every parent that gave them up for that three weeks, that suffered here at home not knowing what was going to happen to them. But we thank you, riders, because without your strength and your diligence and your fortitude, it would not have happened. The group, ranging in age from 15 to 53, started in New Echota, Georgia on June the 1st, traveling across Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, and Arkansas to arrive on the Cherokee Nation Courthouse Square in Tahlequah Thursday afternoon. They were presented with medals by Chief Baker, Deputy Chief S. Joe Crittenden, and Miss Cherokee Julie Thornton, and welcomed home by Cherokee leaders, family members, friends, and well-wishers. The riders made stops along the way at specific points of interest from the Trail of Tears. They were provided with relevant history lessons to help make connections between the past and what the riders experienced along their way. On the day before the ride back to the Cherokee Nation capital, they stopped at the Trail of Tears Park and Historic Site in Fayetteville, near the University of Arkansas campus. They were then treated to dinner and a place to sleep at the Pratt Inn and Barn, and then were off the next morning stopping at Prairie Grove Battlefield State Park and visiting the Lotta House. John Lotta knew many Cherokee leaders in South Carolina before he moved his large family to western Arkansas, which bordered on the Cherokee Nation. <coughs> Thursday morning, the riders crossed to the state line back into Oklahoma, finishing the ride with a quick stop in Briggs for a lunch and a visit with a group of kids who were there for church camp. I've gained new friends along the way and I've learned so much about my history that it's kind of crazy. I didn't know I was related to so many ancestors that went on the trail. The trip's been a great experience for me. Um, I was able to follow my grandfather's uh, footsteps or one of my grandfather's footsteps. Um, you really learn the heartache along the trip. It's been a great adventure physically and mentally. The Cherokee Nation started the ride 30 years ago in 1984 as a leadership program so that Cherokee youth would never forget the hardships of their Cherokee ancestors. Of the estimated 16,000 forced to make the journey to Indian Territory, approximately 4,000 died due to exposure, starvation, and disease. The 2014 Remember the Removal bike ride can be reviewed on Facebook. <laughs>